Hello students, very good morning to one and all. As yesterday and day before yesterday, means in the last classes, we had discussed about the story. It is a tiger in the house. Okay, so really it is a very heart touching story. Okay, but after means when we come to the climax, but when at the end of the story, I think you all felt very sorry because the very loving animal cub which was named as Timothy was died okay but uh, as I think you enjoyed the story but now it is the time to read once why I am reading means already we have discussed everything in the lesson in the explanation and even we have discussed about the vocabulary the glossary the meanings everything but now only the reading part why I am taking the reading part again? Because you have to know the pronunciation as well as you have to know the accent, the meaning, okay, about the full point question mark where you have to pause, where you have to press the letter, okay. And I think you all are very happily ready to know the reading okay even after once i finish reading i can you all to have to practice this at your home every day you have to read at least one lesson of english in your home okay then i think it is a time to move for the reading okay so let's move for reading guys so unit one a tiger in the house written by ruskin born okay so as here they have given it is better means uh, you have to be give even more concentration for the reading shall we start then okay look at this picture a forest guard is holding a pair of cheetah in his hands poor things they were abandoned by their mother why did she do that why we don't know but what will this man do with them? He will take them to his officer. Who will send them to a veterinarian for a checkup? The doctor will tell their age and the taste of their health. Perhaps he will also tell them whether they are cheetahs or to hunt deer. Okay. But whether they are cheetahs or leopards. Do you know that in olden days people trained cheetahs to hunt deer? Then, but what will happen to these poor cubs now? What will the forest department do in a case like this? Ask your teacher about these things. First paragraph. Shall we move for the first paragraph? See here. Timothy. It is pronounced as Timothy, the tiger cub, was discovered by grandfather on a hunting expedition in the Terai jungle near Dehra. At first, the tiger cub was named Timothy by grandmother, was brought up entirely on milk given to him in a feeding bottle by the cook. Mahmud, but the milk provided too rich for him and he was put on a diet of raw mutton and corn liver oil to be followed later by a more tempting diet of pigeons and rabbits. Timothy was provided with two companions, Toto the monkey, who was bold enough to pull the young tiger by the tail and then climb up the curtains if Timothy lost his temper and smell small moral puppy found on the road by grandfather. At first Timothy appeared to be quite afraid of the puppy and darted back with a spring if it became too near. He would make absurd dashes at it with his large for pass and then retreat to a ridiculously safe distance. Finally, 
he allowed the puppy to crawl on his back and rest there. Okay, shall we move for the next paragraph? One of the Bodhi's favorite amusements was to stack anyone who would play with him. And so, when I came to live with grandfather, I became one of the... I, I came to live with grandfather, I became one of the tiger's favorites with favorites. With the crafty look in his glittering eyes and his body crutching, he would creep closer and closer to me, suddenly making a dash for my feet, rolling over on his head back and kicking with delight and pretending to bite my ankles. He was by this time the size of full-grown retriever and when I took him out for walks, People on the road would give a wide word. When he pulled hard on his chain, I had difficulty in keeping up with him. His favorite place in the house was the drawing room and he would make himself comfortable on the long sofa. Reclining there with a great dignity and snarling at anybody who tried to get him off. Here students only you have to be more concentrate about the pronunciation. Okay. Means you have to observe here properly. Timothy had clean habits and would scrub his face with his paws exactly like a cat. He slept at night in the cook's quarters and was always delighted at being left out by him in the morning. One of these days, declared grandmother in her prophetic manner, we are going to find Timothy sitting on Mamo's bed and so no sign of the cook except his clothes and shoes. Of course, it never came to that, but when Timothy was about six months old, a change came over him. He grew steadily less friendly. When out for a walk with me, he would try to steal away to stack a cat or someone's pet pekinase. Sometimes at night, we would hear frenzied cackling from the poultry house. And in the morning, there would be feathers lying all over the veranda. Timothy had to be chained up more often and finally, when he began, to stack mammoth about the house with what looked like villainous intent. Grandfather decided it was time to transfer him to a zoo. Then the next paragraph. The nearest zoo was Lucknow at Lucknow, 200 miles away. Reserving a first class compartment for himself and Timothy, no one would share a compartment with them. Grandfather took him to Lucknow where the zoo authorities were only too glad to receive as a gift a well-fed and fairy civilized tiger. About six months later when my grandparents were visiting relatives in Lucknow, grandfather took the opportunity of calling at the zoo to see how Timothy was getting. I was not there to accompany him, but I heard all about it when he returned to Dehra. Arriving at zoo, grandfather made straight for the particular case in which Timothy had been interned. The tiger was there, crutched in a corner, full grown and with a magnificent striped coat. The tiger approached the bars and allowed grandfather to put both hands around his head. Grandfather stroked the tiger's forehead and tickled his ear. And whenever he growled, smacked him across the mouth, which was his old way of keeping him quiet. the lesson that is the first lesson of seventh standard a tiger in the 
house. Okay? A tiger in the house written by Ruskin Bond. Okay? Now it is the time to move for the exercise part. Okay? Then I think you all are very perfect with the lesson. Now, shall we move for the question answer session? Okay. So, let's discuss the exercise part. In that, the first main question is answer the following questions. Okay. So, let's see what is the first question. When did grandfather discover the tiger cub? Okay. When did grandfather discover the tiger cub? Who named him Timothy? Who named him Timothy? Who fed him? Who fed him? What was Timothy's diet? Okay. In only one question, we have four sub-questions are there. Okay. First question, they had given senior. When did grandfather discover the tiger cub? For that, see the answer. Grandfather discovered the tiger cub while he was on a hunting expedition in the Terai jungle near Dehra. Means the answer for the first question is Grandfather discovered the tiger cub while he was on a hunting expedition in the Terai jungle near Dehra. Dehra Dehra Terai jungle Dehra hunting Madhu Kobo again Madhu Dehra they found a tiger cub. Okay? It was found by grandfather. And grandfather named the tiger cub Timothy. Who named him Timothy? Grandfather named the tiger cub Timothy. Timothy the Hesriti Diyaru? Grandfather. Grandfather only took him from forest. And grandfather only named him as Timothy. Okay? Now, who fed him fed? What do you mean by fed? Feed. Feed and the hell is it? The past tense form of feed is fed. Okay. And the character means like So, grandfather's cook, Mahmood, fed the tiger cup. Grandfather goes to the other one. Mahmood. A Mahmood is the best in the world. Okay, so again one question is there, what was Timothy's diet? What do you mean by diet? Diet is food. Ahara. Ahara is not in the diet. Diet is So, what is the diet? So, let's see the answer. Grandfather's cook, Mahmood fed the tiger. Uh, initially, in the Mottamudhi, when grandfather found the Timothy and took that to the home, that time, initially, grandfather, initially, Timothy was given milk. Chikkan di dhaga, sanna di dhaga, mbani thun bandha ka kheer padta idru, haala na padta idru. Later on, he was put on a diet of raw mutton and cod liver oil. Dodo da 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 ke, kheer padta idru. Raw mutton, see, mamsuvana, other to take cold liver oil in the head, mean in ending. A mean in ending, a product start with you. And later, by a more tempting diet of pigeons and rabbits. But after Shana, how you students day by day, your food items are going to be changed. Like the same, when the tiger was very small, it was fed with milk. Later on, with the cold liver oil and raw mutton. And finally, it was given pigeons and rabbits. Okay, Parivaranta Molana Mamsana Kortai. Okay, I think you all understood the first question and answer. Okay, now it is the time to move for the second question. So, as I told you, it is the time to move for the second question. So, who were Timothy's two companions? Okay, Timothy Jodhikirvantha Ippur Jodhikarayaru. How did they show him that they were not afraid of him? Our Jodhikarayaru, Timothy Jodhikarayaru, Okay, who were the two companions of Timothy? Timothy Jodhikarayaru, 
और टिमोथी खेलो दिल्ला आने में एक बहुत है तू दिस इज़ द क्वेश्चन लेट सी द आंसर टिमोथीज़ टू कंपेनियंस वे ओके टोटो द मंकी एंड द स्मॉल मोंग्रेल पप्पी हाउ द अदर ये डर कंपेनियन यार इन्दर टोटो द मंकी अंदर अदर जितने के ना तू अदर जितने के उसमें मंगा ना तू अदर जितने के a mongrel puppy puppy means it is a dog which is from the different breeds for that a mongrel puppy could i do so the two companions of timothy were however a small mongrel puppy puppy and a chocho okay toto was bold enough to pull the young tiger by its tail the small mongrel puppy used to crawl on timothy's back and rest there so by seeing the activities of the puppy and the monkey we came to know that they were not afraid of tiger even though it is a tiger the tiger adru kuda ave kodu hedrta illa because all they were very small to mari chichiko agiddu they don't have any fear and as they all three were very close friends okay so me the two companions of timothy were the toto and the mongrel puppy okay i think you understood the second question now it is the time to move for the third one okay so timothy was more friendly with the toto than with me puppy means they have asked me whether the given statement is true or false the given statement is true or not true important the statement sari idiyo athwa tappu idiyo anu namu helidare so see students timothy was more friendly with toto than with the puppy so it is a true statement because when you come to know when you read the lesson properly you come to know that means toto than puppy puppy idiyo hechagi the toto jothe close aagidu anodanna now already in mani Now let's in all the paragraphs. In that paragraph, we have read that one. That's why the given statement is true. I think all of you agree with this, and it is the time to move for the fourth question. Okay, students. Now it is the time to move for the fourth question. When the boys took Timothy out for walks, why did people in the street? Give them a wide berth. What do you mean by this question? Yavaga Timothy na walking kapar hokta hai thro. Aapko daga yaam chandra the kishton to sthala ke na kordta hai thro. Okay? Why people used to give a wide distance to Timothy? Okay? So let's see the answer. Timothy had the size of a full grown retriever and were scared. तुम्हारा सुपीरियर अंकोता है तो 
Why, do, why students do you think? Because Timothy was always fed with the very rich food of the Maria food. And sometimes it used to go and sleep on the sofa of my own. Okay? So by seeing all this means the way of treating that people, Timothy, made him to think that he is a superior. Okay? So obviously after observing all this, the given statement is true. Okay, so Chimoti had an air of superiority about him. It's very true statement. Okay, so now question number six. Okay, so Chimoti's wild nature came out gradually. What do you mean by this question? Chimoti, even though Chimoti is a cub, Advan Sanda Maria Tirupuda, whenever it is growing, growing day by day, day, Bedita, 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 Adrali Ruantha, cruelty. Start 
बेरे दर तोड़न बंद हैं ता पेट्स कर दे मेले अटैक मरो दे स्टार्ट मरे तो मींस ग्रेजुअली इट्स क्रियलेस वाज कमिंग आउट ओके सो ही स्टार्टेड किलिंग एनिमल्स इन द पाउंड्री हाउस एंड ग्रैंडफादर यूज्ड टू सी फेदर्स ऑल ओवर द बरांडा इन द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग नॉट ओनली दिस टू चेंजेस गाइस but third was what it was going to do every night again मरते तो poultry farm तर होगी अलेरो वन था पक्षी गड़ना प्राणी गड़ना तो संसन मरी गड़ना कोलता ही तो so very next morning when the grandfather came to know that that animals were killed by this then finally after observing his own points means these above behavior of Timothy made grandfather take a decision to transfer the dog to a zoo. In this time, so after observing these three, Yavdu, he grew, means he grew steadily, less friendly. Whenever he was taken out for a walk, he would try to steal away to struggle, cat or someone's pet. He started killing animals in the boundary house and grandfather used to see feathers all over veranda in the next morning. So after observing all these three changes, the grandfather came to a decision that it is better to shift the cub to a zoo. Okay, I think you understood this answer. Okay, now it is the time to know more further question 9. Okay, let's see ninth question students. Why did grandfather say to the tiger, good night Timothy? Okay, finally we, we understood that when grandfather was returning to his home, he said, goodbye Timothy. Then why he said those words? So see here, when the grandfather came to know that the tiger in the cage is no his Timothy, not his Timothy. Okay, so the tiger in the cage is not his Timothy. He withdraw his hand from the cage. Very shockingly, he did not believe that his Timothy died. He found Timothy in that tiger and say good night Timothy. What do you mean by this? So, Timothy, when grandfather came to know that the tiger in the cage was not his Timothy, Yama the grandfather in the cage was not his Timothy, Timothy Allah he was very shocked. Tumari shocked. Okay, so withdrawn his hand from the cage. He did not believe. Grandfather really did not believe. Because even that tiger also very lovingly behaving with grandfather. So he found Timothy in that tiger and said good night Timothy. Other course in Madhya good night Timothy Okay. So when the grandfather came to know that the tiger in the cage is not his Timothy, he withdrew his hand from the cage and very shockingly he did not believe that his Timothy died. He found Timothy in that tiger and said, Good night, Timothy. Okay, I think you all understood this answer. Okay, now it is the time to move for the 10th question. Okay, so see students, what is the 10th question? Why did the tiger begin to lick grandfather's hand? more and more relish okay it means abhuli grandfather na kayena e kashtondu preeti inda lekta itu okay it means even though it was not timothy adu timothy agirilla adru kuda yak hing martta itu so why did the tiger begin to lick grandfather's hand more and more relish okay let's discuss about the answer Tiger felt that 
the grandfather was a friendly person and he will not do any harm to him. The grandfather had put both hands around the tiger's head lovingly. So, tiger licked his hand relishly. Okay? So, any comment to head in order? So, tiger felt that the grandfather was a friendly person. Tiger again is so grandfather and the world is the Vikti. He was a friendly person and even though the action, the behavior of the grandfather towards the tiger was really very nice one. Grandfather treated him as if it was it's his Timothy. Okay. So, Manusha Vallevru, Grandfather Tumba Vallevru. Okay. So, the grandfather, grandfather the grandfather Okay. So, Tiger felt that the grandfather was a friendly person and he will not do any harm to him. The grandfather had put both hands around the tiger's head lovingly. So, Tiger licked his hands relishly. Okay. I think you all understood all the question and answers. Okay. As once you have to write these in your notebook and practice well. What you people have to do is means every day 3, 3, 4 questions. Not at once all 10 questions. Just 5 questions one time. 2 or 3 times write and practice in your fair book. And next go for the next question answer. Okay. When you will do like these students definitely you will do means you will be very perfect with the question and answers okay i think you all entered the class okay then in the next part we will move for the grammar part okay now we will conclude this question answer session with this okay